Hi, my name is Niranjan, Indian para swimmer, junior world champion, national awardee, Asian record holder, and I was listed in the Forbes 30 under 30 2019 Asia list under the Game Changers category. So I was diagnosed with spina bifida uh, at birth and uh, we didn't know much about it but uh, in a layman's term uh, we knew that it was uh, incomplete of the spinal cord and uh, it might sometimes you know affect you physically and mentally but uh, in my condition I was just affected physically uh, it was very disappointing sad at the start when my parents got to know about this condition but then uh, they decided to fight uh, they decided to find a solution for it and uh, now i am where i am well i have undergone uh, 19 major minor surgeries since birth and uh, <laughs> I think uh, now when I entered or the last time when I entered the uh, operation theater it just didn't feel like I was going to undergo a surgery um, initially it was very scared uh, when I was a small kid but then I understood that it's for my betterment to make me a better person so so every time I go in it's just that another room and when I enter I know that I'm going to be put to sleep in a few minutes so so that's about it there uh i've seen a lot of knives lot of needles uh a lot of blood in my life but uh nothing has ever stopped me uh, achieving what i want to achieve for the country and for myself Well I started swimming as part of aqua therapy uh, when one of the doctors advised me to take up swimming or you know horse riding as a kid uh, I wanted to play in the water so my parents introduced me to swimming and then um, as people say rest is history it's been a long 15 year journey um, I've had some ups and downs but uh, it's that pride of representing your country at the highest level that keeps you going I think uh, you know all of us being a kid uh, uh looking at that gigantic figure of a horse I was I was so scared I didn't want to get on it and uh, sitting on an animal at that point of a time when I was a kid was was something scary so so I opted to you know tap my hands in the water play around in the water and uh, that's how I found swimming and uh, uh I felt like a fish when I got into the pool uh that's how the love towards swimming started definitely when you're representing your country at the highest level staying fit uh staying on track and giving your best shot every time is the main goal and uh, you know exercising and uh, nutrition diet has been part of our regime uh ever since uh, any athlete uh, takes up the sport uh, uh, seriously or or even uh, taking up the sport competitively uh, well i do have a regime i do have a a dietitian nutritionist uh, i do have fitness experts who keep monitoring my fitness goals and uh, yeah it's it's uh, as i always said uh, it's so much pride when you are representing your country and these small sacrifices uh, makes you reach your goal and uh, gets you to that glory uh talking about my uh, diet and exercise uh, uh, well my uh, favorite cheat meal uh, would be i i am a sweet tooth i have a sweet tooth so so i think uh, uh, something with dessert would go along well on my cheat day and my favorite exercises i think uh, uh lifting weights uh, because my cardio happens in the pool so so lifting weights at the gym is uh, one of my go to things absolutely i mean training para athletes uh, uh 
they do have some differentiations uh, when you compare with uh, the able body athletes we would need few uh, uh, inclusive uh, infrastructures we would need some special equipments probably we would need more manpower but yeah uh, we are in a country which is developing all those infrastructures now if we compare it to the ones that we had uh, probably 5 6 years or even 10 years before uh, we are on the right track now we have um, certain exclusive academies just for the para athletes uh, we have some cash awards cash rewards to boost up the para athletes confidence uh, we do get some exposure trainings uh, taking us abroad and uh, getting that high performance training stint i feel we are on the right path though it's not completely there uh, it is somewhere on the right track now <laughs> so apart from swimming i love to travel i am an avid traveler i would have probably covered around 30 plus countries uh, uh, mostly due to swimming but but yeah i love to travel explore new places uh meet new people that is something that i love doing uh, apart from my training and racing and also i'm a big movie buff so whenever i'm in uh, bangalore or i'm in my hometown uh you would definitely uh, see me at the theaters and uh, also i'm a big uh, cricket fanatic so any matches that happens in bangalore uh, i would probably be there cheering for our team i i actually feel that people you know initially did not have that awareness and knowledge about para sports paralympics you know there is something that is equal and parallel to the olympics probably um, a decade before but but now uh, you know uh, there are a lot of supporters the people are coming forward and people do know what paralympics is and and uh, i think uh, that is that is one thing that if proven to the society to the world uh, by performing uh, uh, immensely well at the international circuit by by getting that name fame medal uh, also not just an identity for the country but also an identity for themselves and ourselves uh, that is god is going and uh, i think now people do look up to a lot of para athletes differently able people differently able sports people So last year the entire world went through this pandemic and we are still continuing to have uh the pandemic uh, going on this year as well so I've decided to take it one day at a time uh, uh the most important event uh, what we train for the Olympics and Paralympics are scheduled to happen this year uh but a lot of qualifiers a lot of competitions are getting postponed and cancelled uh, because of the current situation but uh, but yeah the training happens throughout uh, i have started my training uh, uh for the paralympics uh, i am microseconds away from the qualifications so so yeah the, that's the ultimate goal for me uh, representing uh, india at the paralympics coming up uh, uh, is my short term goal and uh, Uh, followed by the Asian Games and Commonwealth Games coming up next year so i'm getting up for all these big events coming up i always mention this and i think that has worked with me and uh, uh, people around me do what you love and love what you do uh, you know i loved swimming uh, though i didn't know what avenues it would open up Uh, as a kid uh, i just took that risk my parents also took that risk so once they put me in the water i felt like a fish and i loved it i loved every moment when i was in the water so so anything you take up uh, it could be sports it could be it could be work it could be education uh, anything you do you got to love what you do and that's going to take you higher that's going to make you a better person uh, that's the message that i always want to give